Hi, everybody, and welcome to Connecticut Style. I'm Jocelyn Memento. We have a lot of interesting guests on our show today. First, we'll hear about a new option for laser eye surgery. Dr. Jeffrey Gold from Liberty Vision talks about EpiLASIK and how it's different from the more familiar LASIK surgery. And it is an exhibit and party all in one. It's a lot of fun, I've got to tell you. We'll tell you about the Arts Council of Greater New Haven's somewhat off-the-wall fundraising gala. I'm going to be there. All right, now let's get into the kitchen with Teresa. All right, Jocelyn, I'm here with cooking instructor Claudia Schwinski. Welcome back to the show. Thank you, Teresa. Very nice to be here. You always bring healthy recipes with you. Try very hard. Like to keep everything light, healthy, and easy and quick. <laughs> What's on the menu today? Today we're cooking stir-fried chicken with orange sauce, a little bit of duck sauce, and just sauteed in one skillet, all set to go. One pan. One That's pan. All you need. Very easy. That's all you need. We don't like a lot of cleanup in the kitchen. All right. I know it's a lot of fresh veggies too. I guess uh, fresh veggies. End of summer we might as well use them while we can. End of summer and you could substitute anything. You don't have to buy exactly what's in my recipe. This is an easy recipe to substitute any vegetables in. So great. Works well. All right, Claudia, mm -hmm. let's get the show on the road. Look right at the camera too. Tell everyone what they're going to do. Sit back, relax. You're having lunch in style. Top grain leather. More. With the push of a button, you fully recline. More. Power reclining sofa and love seat. Top grain leather. As good as it gets anywhere at any price. Only 1978. I'm Rachel Lutzker for Advanced Window Systems. I do our budget and pay our bills. I just gotta get real value every time. Why Advanced Window Systems? A great local company, a federal tax credit, the industry's best warranty, and low factory direct pricing. You'll get a lifetime warranty that's the best in the industry. It even covers this kind of breakage. AWS installs premium roofing and siding too. Call now. Pay no interest for one year. 1-800-841-6544. Looks like leather, but it's not. It's a unique fabric. Looks like an ordinary sofa and love seat, but it's not. There's four built-in recliners. Looks expensive, but it's not. Now only $9.99, and that's for both pieces. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. At the table. Get ready for the chew. <laughs> a new talk show where everyone brings something to the table. To make a creamy soup without the cream, use tofu. For fresh ingredients, nothing beats local. This local enough for you? <laughs> Treat yourself to something delicious. If you love beef, try pastrami instead of bacon on your burger. Make every recipe your very own. Join the chew. Weekdays. Coming Monday, September 26th. Only on ABC. Before the option of laser eye surgery, the only way for treating vision problems was with eyeglasses or contact lenses. Treatments have come a long way, but how do you know if this is right for you? Dr. Jeffrey Gold is a board-certified and award-winning ophthalmologist who specializes in laser vision correction procedures. Doctor, it's nice to see you again. Welcome Thank to the show. Thank you for having me back. So today we're talking about a newer form of LASIK surgery. Well, actually, it's the, uh, a newer version of the oldest form that we had. Okay. Originally, the FDA approved us back in the early 90s for PRK, and PRK involved no cutting. Okay. But it had a prolonged recovery period, a prolonged visual recovery, and was very painful. The next thing that happened around 1995 was they approved LASIK, and everybody jumped to LASIK, almost everybody. Including uh, yourself? Including me because the recovery period was non-existent. People were, had their vision back the next morning mm -hmm. uh, after just a good night's sleep. But over time, it became apparent that LASIK may not be so terribly safe. And I can show you with this model why that particularly happens. In LASIK, we cut the cornea, fold back what's called a flap, and then the laser correction is done in the th deep in the third layer of the cornea. The flap goes back down, the edges seal overnight, but this is relatively new information. From here to here, for in the bed of the cornea, never heals. Oh. We used to think it would heal 10, 15 years, but now we know it never heals. Okay. And that's the reason I don't do LASIK anymore. Because if a person has LASIK and 5, 10, 20 years later gets hit in the eye and that flap comes loose, if they can't find me in an hour to fix it, that eye's in big trouble and might need a corneal transplant. So this new procedure is called 
EpiLASIK. It's called EpiLASIK because all we do is take off the epithelium and we have an image that compares LASIK to EpiLASIK. LASIK is on the right and you can see the flap folded back. EpiLASIK is on the left and you see there's no flap there. The procedure is safer because there's no cutting, safer in the long run because there's no risk of the flap being dislodged. It causes less dry eye. It causes a better quality of vision mm -hmm. because all we have to do is get that epithelium to heal smooth and that's a piece of cake. It's non-painful and it's a wonderful procedure. It seems like it would almost be easier than buying contacts every couple months. Not just easier, in the long term it's less expensive and there's well-documented studies that show that over the long haul there's a higher risk of infection in chronic contact lens wearers than there is with epilepsic. Let's put up our other picture. It shows that there, there really is no cutting or incision like you mentioned. You're that, just kind of separating? That's right. You can see that white device is a blunt tip plastic separator and it just pushes off the epithelium much like a snow plow pushes the snow off your driveway and that layer then it, with, with the epithelium gone I have exposed to me the second layer down where I do the laser vision correction and then that layer grows back over the next three days. So are there any pros to having the other form of LASIK or is it, do you think it's going to be obsolete? Only the instant gratification okay. and that is that you wake up the next morning and your vision is typically back to where it's going to be. Whereas with EpiLASIK, it's a slightly slower process. The vision is a, still a little bit blurry during those first three days, but people can function. They can work, they can drive, they can play. Oh, if you can uh, drive, it must not be too bad then. Absolutely. And the only restriction that I put on my patients is no swimming for about a week. Okay. Now, doctor, is this a permanent procedure? It is. The all of the laser vision correction procedures that we've that that have been available to us over the years create permanent vision change. Great. All right, let's put the information up on the screen if you want to learn more about EpiLASIK. You could contact Dr. Gold at Liberty Vision. Uh, it's, the phone number is 203-281-5745, and you could check out their website. It's libertyvision.net. Dr. Gold, that was very informative. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. All right, coming up next, we're in the kitchen. Cooking instructor Claudia Chwinski shares her recipe for orange stir-fried chicken. That's when we come back. Don't go anywhere. Rachel? Well, today's lesson. The importance of durable cola cast iron sinks. And honesty is the best policy. Available at these Bender showroom locations. Let us work hard for you. Visit our showrooms today, conveniently located throughout Connecticut. Some events just can't be missed, like the 57th annual anniversary sale going on now at Kaud Rug Stores in Orange and Guilford. In celebration, we're offering you deep discounts on our entire showroom of fine hand knotted room size and power loomed rugs, plus all staircase treatments. Pricing something on the net? We'll match it. This is the savings event of the year, so you're sure to find a Kaud rug at a price guaranteed to fit your budget. The Kaud anniversary sale going on now at Kaud Rugs, Orange and Guilford. It's always a good idea to have plenty of quick, healthy recipes on hand to feed your busy family. And today we're going to learn how to make orange stir-fried chicken. Claudia Chuinski is a cooking instructor and teaches classes at the Continuing Education for Fairfield. Welcome back to the show. Thank you so much. It's great to be back with the two of you cooking in the kitchen. This and is a really healthy dish. This is a very healthy dish. Lots of fresh, fresh vegetables, very low in fat. Um, 
It's chicken that's very lean, seasoned just very lightly, and plenty of flavor to kind of feel like you're eating a very full meal. So it really is a very healthy, easy to cook, one pan meal. I like that. And I've noticed you brought some fresh ginger with you. A lot of people probably don't know what to do with this. A lot of people don't know what to do with it. It's very intimidating looking. <laughs> kind um, of. And because it's a, uh, it has like a bark over it, uh, they don't really know what's inside. And when you smell it, there's no smell because of the bark. So what I have taught my students at Fairfield Continuing Ed is to cut it and it has this lime green um, color inside and it flavors the food uh, so intensely that what we do when we're going to do our stir fry is just put a couple of slices mm -hmm. peeled from the uh, from the bark and saute it in the oil and then take it out and that'll give enough flavor to kind of accent our chicken and the rest of our vegetables. I don't usually leave it in that much longer because really? it does get very intense. Now, I grew up with, of course, Asian foods, and we use a lot of ginger. You do. But I use ginger powder now because oh, I don't want it. That's cheating. I You're know it's cheating. Do that. Is that okay still? Um, I know you're is, not supposed to, but, but it's, it's like my using mom would kill me it's if she like using that. garlic that's chopped in a jar. I I don't recommend that. It does lose its flavor. It does lose its its intensity. Okay. Um, and this is very easy to use, and it stays in the refrigerator quite some time. It doesn't um, go bad after a long time. So you really can get a lot of use out of okay. it. So it still <laughs> works what you do, but thank you, Claudia. I like this better. All right, <laughs> let's okay. get started. Okay, what we're going to do? We have our pan with a little uh, canola oil in it. We are going to put our ginger right in there and start sauteing it around. We did peel the bark off. Uh, what we're going to do, and I'll have you ladies do if you'd like, okay. is do our sauce. And what it is is a little teriyaki soy duck sauce. We're doing uh, orange juice, no pulp, um, and some garlic. And then what I have is some uh, cornstarch. And what that does is thicken our sauce okay. um, so that it, it almost has a creamy texture. Um, so what we're going to do, you can add the cornstarch first. So all first. of this goes in here? Yes, okay. and then with the, and why we okay. and whisk it. Okay. And what it'll do is break up the cornstarch. It'll make it nice and liquefied so you don't get the clumps and the lumps okay, so in we're your... So putting in the cornstarch. Putting in corn the cornstarch starch first. And then that's how duck sauce, duck sauce to give it a little is going next. About how much of each of these ingredients? This is about a tablespoon of each. each. It's very okay. easy. Um, you can do to taste if you like a little sweetener. Mm -hmm. uh, sweeter, you can use the duck. If you use um, a little bit more teriyaki and um, okay, so orange juice. juice. Soy. Right. right. So the garlic, garlic and the garlic also. Okay. And what we're going to do is just whisk that up so all the lumps from the cornstarch kind of dissolve. Okay. And in the meantime, we just have some cut up chicken, nice and lean, cut all the fat off, uh, trim it in uh, little strips. And we're going to add that. A little salt and pepper is just in here for flavor. Okay. And we're just going to add that right into our skillet. From start to finish, how long should this take us? Oh, this will take less than 10 minutes. Really? Yes. The, the slices of chicken are very thinly sliced, mm -hmm. so they will cook. And you keep this on a little high heat. Um, so they will cook very quickly. And once you see it, you could already see it start going already. Um, and the ginger is in there still flavored. It'll be easy to take out after. You want to take it out because if you forget, it's sort of somewhat bitter, isn't it? It is. And what I'm going to do, you can see it's starting to brown already. I'm just going to slip it out with my spatch, um, my little spoon here. Okay. And that's all the flavor. And you could actually smell it now. It's really giving good flavor. So that's just going to saute. Um, once that dissolves nicely, what we're going to do is add our vegetables. I just have some um, mushrooms, port uh, mini portobellas, <clears throat> some broccoli flowers, and some shredded carrots. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm working this because I want to make sure this, it, the cornstarch really dissolves. Oh, okay. yes. Really and the reason for that is because what will happen is it will attach itself to the chicken and when you take a bite, you'll get a bite of cornstarch, right. and that really does uh, change the flavor a little bit. This is cooking up very quickly. What we'll do in the meantime is add some of our broccoli, and we'll right start taking that in right into the frying pan. Do we want to add all of it? Um, you can add just half of that. That's okay. fine. And then our carrots. And it's a very colorful dish. It's very eye appealing to children. Yes, it is. Um, it's nice to get them involved and help out a little bit. Um, I do teach oh, at the school. <laughs> yes, the mushrooms are good too. Don't add jump that. The gun or anything you here, just Claudia. add that right in. And the good thing about this recipe is, if you don't have these particular vegetables, what you can do is just add 
anything that you have. You could add red pepper. You could add... Um, Love red peppers. Or Love maybe red pepper. That color is even more vibrant. Yeah, it is. Nice. it is. You could add it, add it in with this. Sometimes I have little uh, snap peas or snow mm -hmm. peas. You just chop them up. Anything really goes with this, which is kind of what I like to teach and, and uh, let my students know it. You don't have to follow the recipe exactly mm -hmm. as it's written. You really can play with it a little bit. By the way, I'm a little bit uh, less than a minute, but tell us about your classes. Um, I teach at Fairfield Continuing Ed. Um, I do adults uh, in the evening. I have a fall class coming up with fall banquet cooking. I also have a class um, for Sunday brunch, oh, which is fun. very popular. We oh, we muffins. make uh, cinnamon French toast mm -hmm. and we make mm -hmm. omelets, and it really is a very exciting class. I, I get a very good turnout. And then I also teach an after school cooking class for kids middle school, sixth grade to eighth grade. Uh, okay, great. Jocelyn, what do you think? You think we're it's going ready? to that is ready. We're going to just okay, pour that right in. You'll right. notice it will thicken up right away to okay. make a nice creamy sauce. And within the next few minutes, we'll plate it and it'll be all set to go. Wow. It's well, as simple, simple as that. And it's Get very flavorful and you. very healthy. And you don't want to overcook the vegetables too much. You'd like a little crispness to them. This is such um, a lighter version than what you get at the Chinese restaurant. Oh, you restaurant. know, I, I was mentioning before, I do like to eat out and have Chinese food, but then I come home and what I try to do is re uh, imitate mm -hmm. what they've done and lighten it up because a lot of the times they do use a lot of ingredients that are a lot heavier, mm -hmm. a, a little bit more fat content, um, and it really is simple to get the same flavors, but lose a lot of the calories and fat when you cook it on your own. So I do strongly you know, suggest tell how that. healthy yeah. it is. Because and at the restaurant, really, it's, 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 it's sugary. Thicker, it's thicker, sugary, the sauce yes. Is, and the sauces, is they, they uh, I don't know what they use, but it, it's just a lot nicer to know this is what I put into it, this is what right. I will get out of it. It's great. So great. it really makes a difference. Claudia, thank you so much. Thank you. And we're going to try this at the end of the show. Perfect. <laughs> I'll have it all plated and ready to go. <laughs> Excellent. Up next, we'll tell you about the Arts Council of Greater New Haven's somewhat off-the-wall mm -hmm. event. That's when Connecticut Style returns. Who's got your back tomorrow morning? News 8. On the next Anderson side, Sir Jessica Parker, you may never have seen. This is the chaos that exists in my house. I've seen you at home, yeah, and no offense, but <laughs> those exactly look like that. On the next Anderson. Tonight at 5 on My TV 9. Remodel or replace your old windows and doors with Marvin, the right choice. With sizes and styles for any project. Start your project off right with your guide to remodeling and replacement at whymarvin.com. See your Marvin retailer today. Visit the newly renovated Marvin Design Gallery at Brantford Building Supplies. As your local Marvin authorized installing retailer, we will measure, deliver, and professionally install your new windows and doors. Call today to schedule a free at-home consultation for your replacement window project. See yourself at Brio. I got to work on real clients, and I really learned a lot. I've wanted to do this my whole life, and Brio showed me the way. After coming to Brio, I knew I'd be successful. Thanks to Brio, I've competed in several competitions and won awards all across the Northeast. It was challenging, fun, and rewarding. See yourself at Brio! With great locations, there's a Brio near you. Brioacademy.edu Someone Off the Wall is not your typical fundraising event. It is an art exhibit and party all rolled into one. And some guests even get to take home original artwork, all to benefit the Arts Council of Greater New Haven. Now, Cynthia Clare is the executive director, and she joins us now. Welcome. It's great to have you Thank on the you, show. Thank you, It's great to be here. I'm so excited about this big event, of yes. course, because I've been so involved with it. Yes, you are. You're our MC. Yeah, it's great. Now, Someone Off the Wall, literally. Is off the wall. Isn't it, it is absolutely. <laughs> Our guests get to select works right off the walls and take them home to be their very own. And these are all original art. Original works of art. We are very fortunate that some of the artists that we help so generously donate works of art to benefit the Arts Council for this event. And what kind of different types of art are we talking about? We have about? such a wide variety of art. We have paintings. We have prints. We have ceramics and jewelry and glass. It's a, a stupendous array of wonderful art. 
And I know we're going to show some of that yes, we are. later on, but right. first let's talk about what the Arts Council of Greater New Haven sure. is all about. Absolutely. The Arts Council of Greater New Haven exists to promote the creative sector of this region. So artists and arts organizations, we provide promotional support. We just launched our, a brand new iPhone app this week with the New Haven Independent, which we're excited about. What, what is this all about, the app? Uh, the iPhone app is event listings throughout the region of art exhibits, of music performances, plays, all kinds of arts events, as well as dining listings. So it's a new way to get the word out about all the tremendous opportunities to participate in the arts. Well, the arts itself, I mean, we need to promote it because so you can really benefit from all types of the mediums that are out there. Absolutely. We're talking about music the, uh, and the artists, uh, sculptures, ev everything else. That involves New Haven is that. defined by the arts. I, exactly. I think. We are an arts community, aren't we? Are, we? we are, in, indeed. The arts, we like to refer to ourselves as the arts capital of the state of Connecticut. And I think the arts make it a great place to live and work with, without question. Of course, there's so many benefits to, to the arts. Uh, arts uh, community, especially for the kids involved. And as we all know, art education has dwindled over the yes. years. And it's really important Sadly. that we promote this. Absolutely. And we are fortunate that in addition to what is taught or not taught in schools, we have some tremendous arts education organizations in our community that provide after school programs for kids. And not just kids, for adults. It's never too late to learn how to paint, how to play an instrument. So. Uh, we've got so many opportunities. We do have a lot of programs out there, and people just really need to look and, and see where they are. Absolutely. Yes. Now, the somewhat off the wall yes. is this Sunday. Yes, it is. Let's take a look at some of the artwork that Absolutely. people are going to be Let's able to do. go home with. Okay. All right. This is the. Oh, this First is up, this fabulous. Is, isn't that a beautiful piece? This is a ceramic pitcher by Justin Garachi. So that could be. That could be yours. The actual, you, is that a, a picture of it or is it the actual ceramic It No, it, it's piece. actually the ceramic piece. Oh, Yes, goodness, the picture wow. itself is, is the work of art. And these are uh, earrings, beautiful earrings by uh, Lacey Doria. And look at, look at the inter, intricate yes. work there, the details. They're, they're really beautiful. Again, these are one-of-a-kind pieces. This is not costume jewelry. This is an artist-designed pair of earrings. And our... Next one. Uh, this is a beautiful black and white photograph by Kenneth Hansen. Uh, Ken is known for his photographs of the Himalayas. Beautiful how, pieces. How did you choose the, the different artists who are taking part in this? Well, we each year try to invite um, a different group of artists so that if you're an off-the-wall regular and you come back year after year, you get to see a new work. Um, part of our our purpose of this event is not only to raise money for the Arts Council programs and services, but also to promote the work of the many, many artists from the region. So each year we invite new artists to, to participate. And we have so many, don't we? We do. But hundreds and hundreds. All right, let's take a look at the next sure. batch of uh, pictures that we What's have here. And this is a print by Mel Bosch. Wow, Beautiful, look at that. colorful print. And now how large are these? These are all 11 by 13. Uh, and they come in a glass frame, so they're ready to hang when you get home. And our next one is? The next piece, this is a ceramic platter by Alice Chittenden. Oh, that's beautiful. That I can beautiful? see that in my own home. Well, there you go. That's so unique. And, and you I can, think uh, this could probably be either hung on the wall or used uh, for a See, I would actually purpose. use it. I, sure. I like art that you can use. I do, too. And showcase. Yes. This is great. Makes a art. statement. It does make a statement. This this is a glass piece by um, Jane Crowley. It's glass. It's actually glass. It's um, stained glass. And so you could just put this anywhere. Again, you, could, a... you would hang this on the wall, but I, I think you could even um, maybe arrange to put, put it, it on, on a, a, on on a, a table, table because yes. that would just draw it's, my it's eye. It's a striking piece. And you'd, it'd be a piece that you could talk about when people come into Absolutely. your home. It's something you can really showcase. Yes. And is that what you look at when you, when you choose is different well, types of things? Well, I think we're looking for display. a variety of artists um, who represent, again, different mediums and show the, the incredible variety of artists that exist in our community. So these are artists from New Haven and the Shoreline and North Haven, East Haven, West Haven, we, we represent 15 towns, so. And the event itself isn't really, it's not like, it's not a black tie event. It's no, very, no, it's no, very no, no, casual no. chic. 
It's casual, chic casual, yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> yes, and it's a cocktail party, it's fun. For the first couple of hours, people just mill around and look at all the art, make their list exactly. quite furiously because when their name, when their ticket when we draw number their gets number, drawn, when Jocelyn draws your number, exactly. If you're lucky and your number gets picked early in the evening, you get your choice of all these works of art. And as, as the numbers continue to be drawn, the selection gets exactly. slimmer, but there's you, great art. And some people had, actually have had all. to go to their third choice. They have, or their fourth, or their fifth. <laughs> okay. All right, there's the information yes. for Somewhat Off the Wall, and it is this Sunday from 5 to 9 p.m., and it's at, what's the address there? O'Donnell That's Company. O'Donnell Company at 7 60 Chapel Street. Yes. And there's tickets still tickets. are available. Exactly. Call the Arts Council. That's You'd right. Be Call happy the to Arts sell you a ticket. Okay. <laughs> See you Sunday. Uh, absolutely. Okay. Cynthia, thank you so much thank for joining me. It's great. Don't go away. There's more Connecticut style right after this. It's great. Okay. We Hi everybody, Scott Haney here at Middlebury Consignment, one of the shops, one of the amazing shops at Whittemore Crossing, right here in Middlebury, Connecticut. If you like to shop where I shop, this is the place to come. It is a destination place where you're going to find furniture, you're going to find consignment, you're going to find new items, you're going to find fine home accessories, lighting, artwork. It runs the gamut for a complete home design. Middlebury Consignment, consignment and a whole lot more. Middlebury Consignment, come spend the day. I'm Rachel Lutzker for Advanced Window Systems. I do our budget and pay our bills. I just gotta get real value every time. Why Advanced Window Systems? A great local company, a federal tax credit, the industry's best warranty, and low factory direct pricing. You'll get a lifetime warranty that's the best in the industry. It even covers this kind of breakage. AWS installs premium roofing and siding too. Call now. Pay no interest for one year. 1-800-841-6544. The unique, the spectacular, vintage lighting exclusively for you. Restoration Lighting Gallery has rare heirloom quality lighting, lamps, and shades. Hundreds of one-of-a-kind treasures that you may never find again. Restoration Lighting Gallery and Coisel Partners. Restoring yesterday's treasures. Introducing tomorrow's heirlooms. Restoration Lighting. Back in the kitchen with Claudia and Cynthia, and look at how it has thickened up. Sauce has thickened up. The cornstarch did just what it was supposed to do. You whisked it very well. Very good. <laughs> and it's all set to serve. Okay, are we ready? Yes, we are. You ready okay, to eat? Okay, I'm ready. All right, Looks great. Good. And we want to thank all of our guests, Claudia, Cynthia, and Dr. Jeffrey Gold for joining us. But most of all, thank you all for watching. Have a great day, everybody. We're going to eat now. Bye. Here you go, Cynthia. Thank you. <laughs>